Now in this video, I'll show you how to perform a string concatenation operation with the help of pointers. So I'll use concept of pointers to perform this string concatenation operation. So also I'll perform this string concatenation in a separate function. Okay. So let me write here uh, string concatenation using pointers. So first I will uh, include the header file stdio.h. Now inside the main function I will consider a couple of strings here. So consider str1 equal to hello and str2 equal to world. So consider a bigger size for str1 because I want to concatenate inside str1. So that's why we can consider str1 as uh, 20 for example and then uh, I am concatenating the content of str2 to str1. So let me call a function here which is uh, my str cat function and I will pass str1 comma str2 as parameters to this function and later we can display str1 content okay so string 1 is percentage yes you can display str1 content now let us implement this uh, my str cat function so let us consider this function implementation where I'll consider a couple of pointers. Let's, let us suppose I'm considering a star s2 and star s1 here inside the my str cat. Now I want to move to the end of the string you can observe for str1 i am using a s2 as the pointer okay so first you have to use this s2 to iterate to the end of this string so using while loop you can iterate this star s2 is not equal to null character so in that case you simply increment this s2 by 1 And now you need to check whether this uh, S1 is okay. So first uh, S1 is already pointing to string 2, right? So you have to access character by character and uh, append it to this string, okay? str1 string which is pointed by S2. So this can be done like this uh, using while loop. I'm going to check like this star s1 is not equal to null character if this condition is true then we can copy and also increment uh, in a single statement so I'm copying uh, like this s star s2 plus plus is equal to star s1 plus plus okay and finally, after entire copying is completed, then you just need to explicitly place a null character. So, which can be star s2 is equal to null character. Okay, like this. Now, let us run this code and see the result. And you can see the updated string is hello world that is string one is hello world so initially string one contains only hello string two contains world 
Now after performing string concatenation operation which is implemented using pointers where string 1 is pointed by character pointer S2 and string 2 is pointed by character pointer S1. First we have moved to the end of string 1 with the help of uh, S2 pointer and later we started copying with the help of uh, S1 pointer character by character into the location where S2 is pointing. So finally we are assigning a star S2 equal to null character which means uh, we are indicating the null character at the end of the string after concatenation. So now we are able to access the content of str1 which contains uh, you know concatenated result of str1 and str2. So this is how it will work.